Well, good morning. It's Crazy Cheap Chick, and today I'm going to make chickpea avocado sandwiches. Now, wait, don't switch the channel. I know that sounds weird, but it's delicious. You can make it in five minutes. Even people who eat a lot of meat, like my husband, loves this sandwich. It is so creamy and tasty. It tastes a lot like chicken salad or... Um, egg salad. I mean, it has the same texture and kind of flavor as that. It's healthy. It's easy. It's cheap. Like any other sandwich, I think the quality of the bun makes a big difference. But just try it. Just try it one time and I think you'll love it. I've been making this avocado chickpea sandwich for a couple of years now. I don't remember where I saw the original recipe and there's a ton of recipes online for it. So this is just my version. I start with a little onion. So I just use that much onion, not a ton. And uh, one stalk celery. I love cilantro. So I put a little bit of cilantro cut up in there. I like dill. So I put a little bit of dill in there. I didn't measure any of this. I just shook it in until it seemed right. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper and a little bit of minced garlic. So I've got that in the bowl. And now I'm going to mash a can of chickpeas and a couple of avocados in here. So make sure that you drain your chickpeas really well, dump them in, and now we're gonna mash them. And we're not gonna mash them smooth because I see a lot of recipes use a food processor. I don't like them that way. I like it to feel like you know, an egg salad or a chicken salad to have a little bulk to it. So there's the chickpeas. Some are mashed a little more than others, that's fine. And now I am gonna scoop out the avocado and add it. So two whole avocados. Now I'm gonna mash in the avocado and I've already, you know, got the cilantro, the garlic, the stock of celery, the onion and the dill. And now I'm gonna add just a little bit of lemon juice. I just cut off the end of one lemon. You don't need a ton. Give it a little zing and probably prevent that avocado from browning, I'm hoping. But we usually eat this so fast, there's usually not leftovers, to be honest. Okay, now I'm gonna mash that up. And you see, the avocado is becoming like your mayonnaise. There's no mayonnaise in this recipe. Now that's what the finished product looks like and it is so creamy and delicious. You will love it. I mean, you're looking at it, you're thinking, I don't know, try it. So there you have it. Now I put a little bit of tomato and spinach on it and I'm using this um, St. Pierre bread that I got off of Clarence Rack today. I love this bread. It's just so stinking expensive. I don't buy it very often. And uh, it's this is gonna be a fabulous lunch, this sandwich. Now people, they'll resist trying it, but then once they try it, they're like, oh, I love this. It's, it's the most fabulous thing I've ever had. Sometimes it's just getting people to overcome their own prejudice. Well, thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end. That makes me think that you're a really nice and kind person. If you got anything at all out of my avocado and chickpea sandwich uh, recipe, please give me a like. Uh, I hope you make it and enjoy it. Please leave me a comment if you do and consider subscribing. That would help me out. I hope you have a great rest of your day.